I'm going to show you how to um, make a, a wing from your butterfly template. So um, assuming you've downloaded the template already and you have your design, I just decided to make a bunch of text and then I grouped it all together. And um, there are two wings here, this one, right, and this one. And I'm going to bring this one up and bring this up. And I just want to make sure I can see my text as it fits over there. You know, I might want to take it and, for example, I think I'm going to rotate my text because I think it looks more interesting at an angle. And I also think it looks better if it was just a little bit smaller, although I want to make sure that it's filling the design. I just, I feel like I have more stuff there. So I'm going to take that and play around with that a little bit. I've got a spot here that I kind of wish was filled. So there we go. Let's just do that. Eh, I don't like that. I think I'll mess around with this just a little bit. Anyway, so once you have what you want, let me show you how simple this is to do. So, there we go. Alright, that's that's okay. I think I'll just keep that. Alright, here's what's important. Um, the layer that's going to become your clipping mask has got to be above the layer where you have your butterfly. And just to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy of this first. So I have a copy of the layer that's going to become my clipping mask. Very important. And then I'm going to select um, the all this information and this layer right here. And actually, I think I'm going to lock uh, the top, the very top layer. I'll explain why. And then I'm going to say object clipping mask make. And okay, it looks like. Uh, let me do this again object clipping mask make okay and you see what I get it's a copy of it now what the reason why I made a copy of the top layer and I locked it is because if I make that invisible see how the lines go away um, you may or may not want the lines I, I think the lines are good to have there because without them like when I'm cutting I might not know where to cut in some of these areas so I, I personally like the lines the only problem with the lines so if you look carefully, see how it has that right there, that line. So what I'm going to do, and by the way, the, see how it's like all funky? The, the information is still there, by the way. Like if I go back and say object clipping mask release, see, it's just right back to it. Where is it? So object clipping mask make lets me do that. And I can even, oh, I have to lock that again. Let me do that. Object clipping mask make. And I can even edit stuff. So if I go to object clipping mask, edit contents, see, I can, I can move like words and letters around inside. I'm not going to do that. So um, object clipping mask make. Okay. <coughs> Oops. So undo clipping mask. Okay. So, so now that I have all that stuff there, um, let's say I unlock this and I grab this one. What I could do before I flip it is just get rid of this line here. Remember, if you hit the letter C, Hopefully you know how to do this really well on the letter C down here. And then I just hit delete. See, it just gets rid of that line right there. And then what I can do is take everything. So unlock this, take everything, and I'm going to copy it. So edit, copy, edit, paste, and hopefully it gave me, yep, gave me an exact copy of it. And then... I think before I do anything else, just to be on the same side, I'm going to group it and then edit objects, transform, reflect. Let's see. Yep. Reflect vertical. Done. And I'll move this back in. And I'm kind of glad that some of my words were backwards because now they, there's my butterfly. Looks good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to just kind of toggle it around. Probably what I don't want is there's a little bit of awkwardness right here. So I'm going to just use the arrow keys to line that up. And then when I'm ready to file, export, and I'm going to export this as a JPEG. I'm going to call this silver butter, oopsie, butterfly. And this is graphic design. And I don't know why it did that with the tags. Click use artboards and hit export. And I'm ready to upload that to the presentation. That's it.